Welcome to episode 10. Um, we're, we've decided to stick with the keto theme. So we're giving you guys some keto uh, mushroom chicken. That's a good, that's a good plan, I think. Yeah, and it's something that we would normally eat, so I wanted to kind of stick with that idea and show you guys like what we eat on a regular basis. Perfect, let's show so, them what we eat. And it only takes like 10, 15 minutes. You're right, that's a very quick fix, I and think. And you'll feel like you get a really good treat. I mean, we wouldn't have this every day, but. Oh. So, but it's yeah, so delicious. Super quick and super delicious. It's super delicious, so. And I saw it in a keto, keto like book, I think. Yeah. Years ago, so. All right, let's, yeah. uh, let's, let's, let's go over the uh, ingredients and go from there, I guess. Okay, so it's super easy. You only need a few ingredients. We're yeah. gonna do two chicken breasts. Um, a handful, it was like half a pack of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. We're only gonna use a little bit of heavy cream, so it's about like half a cup. So on a chicken, uh, Indian chicken dish, how much heavy cream we use? I, I think remember. we used more, it was more like a cup. Oh, okay, so we're going down a half a cup, so that's So this good. is a little, yeah, a little less. And then about half a cup, you can do just Swiss cheese or you could do this blend, it's really good. It's like the giri, Prairie. Yeah. We like that one a lot. A handful of parsley, mm -hmm. handful of thyme, mm -hmm. and a tablespoon of minced garlic and a tablespoon of butter. Okay. And then on the side, we're gonna do sauteed spinach. Um, we have done it with potatoes, but since we're not doing carbs, we're gonna do it with the spinach. All right, so now we're gonna prep the chicken breast. Now you could double up. We're just gonna do uh, two breasts. And I like to slice them in half and then thin them out so they cook quicker. Oh yeah. Uh, it just makes it like a lot faster. And you only have to cook it like two minutes on each side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slice them up. Slice them. I think I said we're gonna do it with spinach, right? Okay. <laughs> do you wanna slice them like Butterfly them, I guess it's called. So they look like little... Butterflies? Butterflies. <laughs> Literally, right? <laughs> and then if you don't have this, that's okay, but... Beat them. I like to... Punish the chicken. <laughs> that's the best part. It's actually really fun. And for the seasoning, it's super quick. We're just gonna do salt, pepper, paprika, and a green goddess. So now we're gonna turn on the heat, so it's ready. Turn on or turn up the heat? Turn up and on. Up and on? Nice. <laughs> okay, just a little salt and a little pepper. And Okay. Why are you wearing uh, fitness clothes today, Megan? Well, I've not got out of them since we left the gym. Oh yeah, when you go to the gym, you would have fooled me. <laughs> Sometimes. This, I thought this figure was uh, God-given. <laughs> kind of. So for somebody who eats as much candy as you do. <laughs> I've cut back significantly. On what? Candy. Or working out. No, we've stuffed that up. We? <laughs> I even went to my showing today like this. You did. Oops. Oops. I did. Once you're in them, it's just hard to get out. What exactly are you showing, Megan? I did show a house today. A house, huh? <laughs> We're looking like that? <laughs> yeah. The client must have bought on the spot, no? <laughs> Basically. Basically. Oh. Anyway, how far along are you? Oh, the goodness, the God, uh, what is that? The Godness goodness? <laughs> The green goddess. The Greek goddess, yeah. Green, that. green. Green. <laughs> I swear. I like my Greek goddesses. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Can you name one? Yeah. Hold on. Cleopatra. <laughs> Wrong. All right, so these are ready to go. We're gonna throw them in for a quick like two minutes on each side. Okay. Uh, okay, so I usually just kind of look at the clock and then. So while those are cooking, I'm gonna quickly. 
Mm. Yeah. I like the smell of this chicken with seasoning. Smells good on. already. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. So what's going to happen now? Now I'm going to quickly slice up these. Slice them up. I'm telling you, this is like the easiest recipe. Which is good. Yeah, because people like easy. Yeah. Mushrooms are good, huh? Oh, I love my mushrooms. <laughs> Who doesn't like mushrooms? <laughs> it took me a long time to like them. Why is that? Like 30 years. 30 years to like mushrooms? <laughs> what kind of a... Oh no, when I was a baby, I loved them and then... But then what happened? I wanted nothing to do with them for 30 years. <laughs> Why is that? And I might as well just chop this up right now. I don't know, that's nuts, right? There's not even like much flavor to them. Okay, now let's flip it. Good. Oh yeah, we're flipping that. We have our little... Oh yeah. Chicken is so simple. I think that's why everybody likes to make it. Make chicken? Mm-hmm. You're right. Let's keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> That's the number one rule. <laughs> have you ever never heard of that? No. Where is that from? Military. Well, there you go. I've heard it now. Um, okay, so once that's done, we're gonna remove the chicken and throw in the butter, garlic, mushrooms, and the cheese and the cream. All right, now it's definitely done. The chicken's done for sure now. For sure, for sure. So we're gonna pull that off for a minute. I'm not gonna slice it up yet. You're not gonna slice it up yet? <laughs> but we could, let me throw over a towel so it doesn't get cold. Is that what you do? That's the pro tip? Throw a towel over the chicken? <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, that works. And now what are we doing? Now since it's still hot, we're gonna throw in the butter. Oh. One tablespoon. You. Let's do it. A tablespoon of garlic. And the um, mushrooms. Why not? Why not? And then once you start to cook down, then we'll add the Cream and then cheese and we're almost done. Cream, cheese, and then we're almost done? Yeah, crazy, right? Yeah. Now the mushrooms are ready. That's good news. That is good news, and they smell really good. Yeah. Look at that little shaky thing you got in your hands. Oh, that's the cream. That's the cream. The fun part. So, let's do the cheese first. Oh, for some, for a second I thought you were gonna do cream first. Well I was, but you know why I did that? No. Cause once it's wet with cream, then if you put the cheese in, then it sticks. Pro tip, another one. <laughs> exactly. I mean, half a cup does look like kind of a lot. Yep, there comes the fat. Which, don't be afraid of fat. fat. fat yeah, it's fine. Be afraid of carbs, not fat. All you lean people out there. Fat is not your enemy. Your body knows what to do with this fat. It's true, it does. It's the carbs that turn into, turn into sugar. And the sugar is obviously bad. And your body stores sugar like does fat, like it does just mm -hmm. in the worst way, right along the belly. Exactly. We found out the hard way during COVID, didn't we, Megan? <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yep. Oh, the water. And we're gonna put just a little bit of water. It was like a fourth of a cup. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna put all that, just put like half of it. Now we're gonna grab our parsley and thyme. So now it's looking nice and creamy. Yeah. I'm gonna add in a tiny bit more cheese. Please do. Please. You're ready not to sleep tonight. <laughs> by having this cheese. And then, right? Oh, I'll be uh, paying yep. for it later. Oh, you will be. That's for sure. It's a guarantee. So now I'm gonna grab our parsley and thyme. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. Just give it a little. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Have you ever seen thyme before? Yes, Megan. Oh. I'm not a wild beast, you know. Have you ever seen wild thyme before? 
Yeah. You have. Well, here it is, look. That sounds sus. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Yeah, wild in time. Mm. <laughs> and this is, doesn't have to be fancy, just a little bit. A little bit of that. Now we're almost done. You keep saying that. This whole last 10 minutes you've been saying we're almost done. This is this is a fun little game you're playing. <laughs> right? right? Don't you think? Well, let's give it a little pepper. Oh, well. Why not? <laughs> Whoever said no to pepper, huh? Yeah, right? Pepper's great. Oh, yeah. Now, that will go back over the chicken. Yeah. And I'm gonna add in a splash more of that water. And then we're almost done. <laughs> Again. <laughs> you haven't heard that yet. We're almost done. <laughs> almost done, everybody. Almost. Now we're gonna start sauteing the spinach, but first I wanna put in um, a few slices of the onion first and get yeah. it caramelized. And then... I think you, you have to have the onion with the spinach. I don't know. Onion seems to be like our go-to with everything. Oh yeah, that's pretty, pretty standard. So like three. So you're not gonna chop it up or anything? No, I kind of like it like that. Ah, so it's not even chopped onion, it's just sliced just onion. Just sliced, yeah. I thought you were gonna chop it up and all kinds of stuff. Nope. Olive oil, here we go. A little olive oil and then, I do do that though. There you go. So you break it up before you dip it in the well, throw it in the one pan. One little break. But I like the, like they're almost whole. Gotcha. And then we just throw in handfuls of spinach. And wash, like this much spinach turns into that. Oh, well, I know that part. Oh, <laughs> back to the spice drawer. So we'll do garlic salt and then this one. So gotcha. Every day. And look, it's almost gone. So now these are, you know, a little bit caramelized. We're going to throw in spinach. <laughs> How do you open a spinach bag? Big dilemma. With all your muscles from eating the spinach. I just like, I just like watching anything green in a oh, yeah. pan or a skillet. Isn't it lovely? I wouldn't call it lovely. I would just say it's freaking awesome. <laughs> right? Yeah. It feels good to eat healthy. It does, especially when you go to the pool. <laughs> Especially when you go to the pool. Especially. Especially. All right, give it a little. What, a little twist? Like three twists, probably. Three twists of garlic salt? Nope, every day. Every day, every day, as some may say. Oh, well, that was Have you ever said er, have you ever said every day? Every day. Every day? <laughs> Never. What's the matter, they don't speak like that in R Riverside? <laughs> they probably do. I don't really remember Riverside anymore. Sure you don't, Megan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Riverside Poly High School. <laughs> a true champion. Polytechnic. Polytechnic. I think that's what it says. Is that because you had a bunch of smart kids there? No, it's a good school. Yeah, for a smart kid like yourself. It is. Uh, I have straight A's, by the way. You did. I know you did. See how that looks? Let me see. That looks delish. We'll do a little... Is that salt? Garlic salt? Why not? And we haven't used this in a while. Yeah, bring it back, y'all. Bring it back. Crunchy onion. <laughs> Spicy onion. Now this is part of our, this, this spinach is gonna go in the mix. We're gonna eat it on the side. Oh, the side. Cause it's gotcha. in place of like mashed potatoes. Yeah. Even though it's like not quite the same. <laughs> right, 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 I get that. But it'll still taste good. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, and the gas is off, so let's make sure that's on. On what temperature, on high, low, medium? Like medium, low. How did you notice that the gas was off? I pay attention to details, <laughs> remember? I do. <laughs> okay. So spinach, chicken mush with mushroom sauce. Yep. And we're oh, gonna, we're adding more. We're gonna do more because it's you know how it cooks up so quickly. But that should be enough. So once it's all cooked up, we're gonna go work with it. 
just on the side dish, we're gonna dump the chicken in, right? Yep, then I'm gonna slice up the chicken. I can do that now. If, if well, like. let's finish up on the spinach, because that cooks fast. Now we're ready to slice up the chicken and take a bite. All right, let's slice Which up that chicken, man. I Megan. can't wait. Oh, look at that chicken. So you can slice it like this and then just throw it in the pan, or you can just pour the sauce on top. Without slicing it? You can, yeah, but I think it's slice is better. It's an option. Do you have an option to slice or not to slice? There's always options. The chicken is sliced up and ready. Let's get that sauce and give it a whirl. And I snuck a little. You snuck a little taste? Sample of it, it's really good. Mm, mm, mm. I think the, the thyme makes it so good. There you go. Cheese, cheesy peasy. Cheesy, should be like cheesy chicken sauce. Mm hmm And then a little side of the spinach. spinach. See, that doesn't even look like a lot. No, but make sure there's enough. Yeah, I think there's enough. Enough for you to taste and bite. And so then. That was literally, we're almost done, huh? So it was pretty fast, right? We're almost done, Megan. We're almost done. And then you can add a little bit of that for, for uh, the effect. You're right. Let's, <laughs> I want you to grab a bite and tell us how that oh, yeah. tastes. You think, you think it's gonna taste superb? Pick up that plate, Megan. Oh, I think so. You, you probably should, because you're probably gonna drop all kinds of food. <laughs> Give it a little taste. Little taste. Taste your own cooking like a good chef. Mm, mm, mm. What say you? Mmm. I mean, what do you think? Honestly. No, it's really good. What makes it so good? The sauce. The sauce? <laughs> Not Should the meat? try the spinach. Yeah. No, the chicken's really good too. Yeah. So that literally took us, what, 15 minutes maybe? Actually, you like say 15 it took you 15. Minutes. The video itself took longer, but if you... No, you, yeah, you could do this in 15 minutes. Yeah. Two minutes on each side for the chicken, and... What else do you think you can have this dish with? Let's just say you're not some carb-conscious person. You can oh, have this with mashed potatoes, mashed rice. potatoes, rice. Rice, all kinds of different sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. You name it. Different, yeah. Yeah. Potatoes or and rice, I'd say go. Mm -hmm. yeah, or you can make a sandwich out of it. Okay. With some wheat bread. I probably, oh, maybe. That would taste good as a sandwich. All right, well, episode <laughs> 10 was a success, don't you think? Yeah, I think everyone's really gonna like that. Yeah, if you care to subscribe and like this stuff, please do. Yes, please. And But most importantly, <laughs> please try to make it. Yeah. Can make you, it and... Shake it. We'll keep more coming. And, and, and like it, comment. Like it, subscribe. <laughs> if you want to, only. I'm not gonna twist your arm. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see you guys episode 11 next. Next. Bye.